Hi there everyone, I'm meteorologist Patrick Hammer from WGRZ Channel 2. Welcome to my home. My daughter Francesca is filming this. Um, sweet expectations, a wonderful, wonderful event for Feed More Western New York. This year we gotta do it virtually again, which is okay. Uh, not as fun as the real thing, but still we're gonna make it work like we did last year. And thank you for allowing me to share a recipe that's real simple. Now, while I describe the recipe, I gotta get some of it going. So I'm gonna start the bacon, which is a key ingredient, and then I'll describe a little bit more about what I'm doing in a second, but the bacon goes in the pan. This is an English muffin. This is, here's the deal. I grew up with a single mom. I grew up as an only child. My mom had to feed me sometimes quick and on the run and needed something that was easy. One of the things that I loved was an English muffin, mayonnaise, uh, tomato, bacon, and cheese, all grilled together, and it has to be Thomas's. This is not an endorsement, but I'm sorry. In the English muffin game, nooks and crannies, rules every time. Okay, so while the bacon is cooking, I'm gonna put these English muffins in the toaster, get them kind of ready to go. And uh, I'll explain a little bit about the genesis of this, um, genesis, the band that's coming to Western New York, November 27th, anyway. Uh, let me let the bacon cook. Uh, my mom just kind of wanted to come up with stuff. Like, what? what is my son, as a four-year-old, an eight-year-old, a 12-year-old, and now a 51-year-old still likes to eat. And it's this simple recipe that when it all comes together, not only does it taste great, but it kind of looks good. And I'll explain why. All right. So the bacon is cooking. I've got the English muffins. What I'm gonna do now is slice the tomato. You wanna give it a good like beefsteak chunk. Nothing too thin, you know, maybe a quarter to a half an inch to give it a little girth, and of course to add vegetables, a vegetable element to the recipe. And then I'm also gonna cut the cheese. Now, you can always do sliced cheese, but I always liked the block cheese, because when you melt block cheese, it gives it some girth. It doesn't just kind of, it doesn't go everywhere. It gives it some character. And, and also, sliced cheese is just kind of maybe too easy, but, you're fine to use sliced cheese. Okay, so my bacon is now ready. Let's degrease it a bit. Okay, I'm gonna take out my English muffins. There we go. I'm gonna spread a little mayo. I know mayo is not what you would think, not butter, mayo. Kind of like the BLT family, okay. I'm gonna take my bacon, bring it over here. I'm gonna take the sliced tomato, put it on top, slice the bacon in half. Each one of these, and by the way, you don't have to make just two. You can make like 10, 12, as many as you want. Take the block cheese on top, okay? Then you put the entire contraption. I know I'm using my hands here, but Maybe a pan would be easier, but you know, sometimes as a parent, you gotta do, you gotta go fast. Oh, we got a casualty. All right, so we put, <laughs> we put this in and let it toast for a little while, but keep an eye on it because you don't want the cheese to burn. And then out comes this. It looks presentable and there's nothing green on it, so the kids will love it. Simple, easy, feed more Western New York. Thank you for welcoming me into your home and let's have an amazing, an ama oh, it's ready, an amazing event tonight. Good night.